In this video, we will continue with integration of trigonometric functions. You will find this on page 529 in the Namibia AES level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. Show that 2 sin x plus cos x squared can be written in the form 5 over 2 plus 2 sin 2x minus 3 over 2 cos 2x. Let's stop there. Okay. Now, because of the bracket, we're first going to multiply out. Now, as I said, sometimes it's better to rewrite the bracket out two times. But you can do the short way also. I think in this case, the short way is not so difficult. Okay. But let's just write it out. Okay, and then you're going to multiply. So you're going to get 4 sin squared x. And if you multiply this one, you're going to get that um, 2 sin x cos x plus another 2 sin x, and that's why it's 4. And then if I double that one. So this one is actually easy because you square this one, uh, you multiply the two with each other, and you multiply by 2, and then you square the last one. Okay, and now I'm just going to look. Don't forget... That what is sin squared x? Can you remember from the previous videos? And I even showed you how to drive it again from the original um, videos, the double angles. Okay, so I just substitute it there. There, can I show you? So basically, I took this and I substitute there. Okay, and then um, the same here. I also, if this is one was sin. And the other one was cos. And I can just take you back, but I think you can still recall it um, previous. And in the previous videos, I even showed you how to derive it. But this is where I'm reflecting to. Okay, so now I substitute all the sin square, the cos square. Okay, and now I just multiply out, and then I got this, as they ask. And the reason why they let you do A is to help you in B. They, they could have just asked you this. But then you first have to derive it, and then you have to do the definite integration. So in this case, I know now that this, this, is equal to this. So I just substitute. And then I start integrating. So there's the x. This is going to be 2, negative a half, cos 2x, minus 3 over 2. And what is cos 2x? This is a half sin 2x, and there's my two limits. Okay, and now I just simplify it a little bit, and then I substitute. First, the, a quarter pi, and then zero. Okay, so after I substitute, I first simplify. So this is just going to be 5 over 8 pi. This is cos, and if you, 2 over 4, it's going to be a half pi. And then it's negative 3 quarters, and it's again 2, so it's sin a half pi. And then this is becoming zero. Okay, don't, the, I, I will show you now cos and sin. So I'm just going to work with my graphs. I don't need my special triangles here. So just remember, and I'm just going to show you your different graphs. Sorry, I'm just checking a lot of pens now. Okay. So if I'm looking at the sin, the sin one will look like this. Don't forget that is pi and that is 2 pi. The cos one will look like this. So there is again 2 pi and this is pi. Okay. And don't forget this is 0 and that is always 1 and that is negative 1. And that is 1 and that is negative 1. Okay. So let's just look at this. Cos 0. Now where is cos 0? Cos, this is my cos 1, and this is my sin 1. So at cos 0, did you see? That's why it's 1, okay? Cos 0. And then sin 0, but at sin 0, it's going to be 0, okay? And now I'm just going to substitute. So cos a half pi, now where is cos? Um, this, this, so a half pi will be there, so it's pi over 2, and that will be 0. And then sin a half, this pi, so a half, will be there. And then, so that's pi over 2. 
and that is going to be one. So in this one, as soon as you see, as soon as you see, uh, let me just write it here. As soon as you see just pi or pi over 2 or uh, 2 pi or, or this, uh, then, then you can just use your graphs and you will be able to do it just with your graphs. Okay. I want you to stop the video. Okay, and then I basically just simplify. I just uh, simplify and I got my final answer. I want you to stop the video and, and because this... Um, Examples is, is quite challenging. I decided to do two on this video. So I will do number one. Let's get my color correct. Number one as well as number three. Again, you can continue the videos as soon as you are finished. Let's start with number one. Show that, and I'm going to write it down. So tan square x plus cos square x and that's going to be 6 square x plus a half cos 2x minus a half. Okay. Now, they say show that. So, so basically, let's start with the left-hand side. This is number A. What is the left-hand side? That is going to, it's, it's almost like we... Um, Identities, how we prove identities. Now, you, know, you must know this, or you must, this one is actually very easy. This one we already did. Uh, I'm going to just reflect every time back. Okay, let me just, um, I think it's going to go a little bit more. Uh, then did I was too far. I think this page must just move a little bit down. So it's on page five to seven. And there you will see it. There. Can you remember? In the previous videos, otherwise look, tan square x is equal to 6 square x minus 1. Okay. So tan square x is equal to 6 square x minus 1. And can you remember cos square x? We already, we, we did it also there with the green. Otherwise you can see how I derived it in the previous videos. So cos squared x is equal to a half, and now I'm just going to be, um, I, you can multiply it already indirectly, doesn't matter. And that's going to be 6 squared x minus a half plus a half plus a half cos 2x. Okay, and if I'm going to simplify this, it's going to be 6 squared x plus that half cos 2x, and that is going to be minus a half. Okay, and that's equal to my right hand side, and that's how I do it. Okay, and now they say the value, and it, show, it, it could have been break up in an A and a B, but in this case it's not. So now I go for B. And that is a quarter by zero. And then it is tan square x plus cos square x dx. Okay. Now remember, they, but it's equal to this. So I can e say it's equal to a quarter by zero. And now I'm um, writing in that. So it's 6 squared x plus a half plus 2x minus a half. And that's the And now I can, remember I did not integrate it. Now I can start with my, my um, integration. Okay. So if I look at integration, that's now in the beginning of the chapter, you will see that what is 6 squared x? That is just equal to tan x. I, I want to take you just, and I want to show you the pages. Um, here it was. Can you see? Just your normal one. 6 squared, it's tan x. And that's on that page 5 to 6. Okay. So let's continue. So this, if I integrate, remember I'm integrating now, it's only tan x. Okay. 
plus a half. What is cos? Cos is going to be sin, but it's going to be that value. So it's a half, the reciprocal. Sin 2x minus a constant, just get an x. And what is my limit? It's a quarter pi and zero. Now I'm going to substitute. So I'm going to say tan pi over 4 plus a quarter sin uh, 2 pi over 4, okay, minus a half pi over 4, minus, okay, and then again a bracket, a bracket close there, okay, and then it's tan 0 plus a quarter sin 2 0 minus a half 0. And that is um, going to be now. Okay. Now, as soon as I see a quarter, as soon as I see, can I show you here? As soon, and I just want to first draw a line. Okay. If I see pi, that's the color is not good enough. Let's just take another color. Pi over 4, or pi over 3, or pi over 6. I must go for my special triangles. So in this case, um, pi over 4 is going to be my isosceles. And can you remember your isosceles? So this is going to be um, um, 1, 1, square root 2. And this is going to be pi over 4. Okay, so if I have tan, let's just start here. Uh, tan pi over 4, it's going to just be 1. Let's just keep to my white. Um, it's just going to be 1. Plus, okay, now be careful. This is sin, so it's 2, so it's going to be a half pi. So it's pi over 2. Then I just go, go to my graphs. Okay, now where is sin? Sin, can you remember? I did it here. There is sin, pi over 2, so that is just going to be 1. Minus, this is pi over 8. Minus, okay. Um, just remember to multiply in. So tan 0. Now, I didn't draw the tan graph here. Let's just draw it here. The tan graph is, is at 0. It's, just get the pen correct. Okay. But at 0, it's just going to be 0. So it's going to be 0. Just multiply in, so it's minus a quarter and a tan zero. Look there, there, oh, no, not tan zero, sin zero. Sin zero, it's going to be zero. And this is going to be zero. Okay. And now I can simplify this. And this is going to be, okay, so one and a quarter, that is just going to be one and a quarter or five over four minus pi over eight or minus 1 over 8 pi, doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm just writing here. And 5 over 4 minus 1 over 8 pi, that is meaning exactly the same. And that's how you do number 1. Okay, let's start with number 3. What I did is I copy a part of the formula sheet because I'm going to reflect quite a lot on this formula sheet in question 3. Okay. So let's start with question 3. By expanding sin 2x plus x and using double angle formula, show that sin 3x is equal to this. Just take note that this is actually sin 3x. They already break it up. Okay, so they already helped you by that first statement. But let's start with the first statement. So we are going to say that sin... And then it's going to be 2x plus x. Okay, it's not, not integration, nothing. It's actually just working with all the formulas. Now, the first formula I'm going to use is the compound angles. There, that one. Okay, so let's start there. 
I'm going to say, let's just get the pen correct, sin, and it's going to be 2x cos x, okay, plus cos um, x, um, cos 2x, sin x. Now that's the compound formula. You can go back to chapter 10 and revise that. Okay, that's my first step. But now I go for my double angles. Now, where's my double angles? So, sin, uh, there's the sin. Luckily, sin is only having one. Problem is cos. Now, if I'm looking, and you, you have to look the whole time at what you want. If you look here, you see that everything is only in terms of sin. So, that means, if I come to the cos, then don't use any one with the cos. Use one which is only involving sin. Okay, so let's start there. So this is going to be sin 2x, so it's 2 sin x cos x. Okay, don't forget, I'm only working there. So don't forget now your cos x. Okay, and now cos, cos, so what is it going to be? 1 minus 2 sin square x and then sin x. Okay. Remember why I said we use that option because everything at the end is just in terms of sin. Okay, now we go on. So we have 2 uh, sin cos square x. Okay, uh, plus now I'm going to have that, remember, sin x minus 2 sin to the power of 3 x. Okay. Now, don't forget, I, I, I'm not busy, I, I want everything in terms of cos and sin. So, look at this, your, your total basic, basic, um, oh, where is it? this one, I'm going to work with this one, because if I say cos squared x, remember, cos squared x will be equal to 1 minus sin squared x. Okay, so let's just do that and still substitute there. So I have 2, I forgot the x, sin x, and then I have 1 minus sin squared x plus sin x minus 2 sin to the power of 3x. So I have 2 sin x minus 2 sin to the power 3x plus sin x minus 2 sin to the power 3x. Okay, now if I simplify that, so let's just quickly see so I have 2 sin x, I'm just, I'm just controlling my own story, minus 2 sin plus sin x minus 2. Okay, so there is a sin x and there is a sin x. And this is the same and this is the same. So basically, I'm getting 3 sin x minus 4 sin to the power of and that's exactly what they showed you there. Okay, so it was just playing around from the formula sheet with the basic. First compound, then double, and then just your basic, trying to get everything in terms of sin. Okay, now remember, they, they let you do A actually just to help you in B. That, that was the whole story. But now, be careful with B. If you start with B, now, this is the reason why they said sin 3x, okay, was equal to this, okay, but was also equal to this. So, let's just start with, I'm going to make it B, saying sin 3x is equal to, and, and, and just the statement I got there, 3 sin x minus 4 sin to the power 3x. Okay. Now, basically what I'm going to do, I see, I'm looking here, and I say it's sin to the power 3. 
So they want to make this the subject of the formula. Okay? So basically, I'm playing around with that formula. Let's just take the 4 over. So 4, I'm taking it over due to the negative. Sin 3x is equal to 3 sin x minus sin 3x. Okay. So basically, if I just want sin to the power, oh, let's just get in it. Um, sin to the power 3x equals 3 over 4 sin x minus 1 over 4 sin 3x. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm at that red, which I showed you there. And now I can say, now I can go and say, this is quite a challenging one. Now I can, can say, okay, what is it? It was a third by... And zero. And, and first the statement was sin to the power 3x. But I know now that it, that will be equal zero. So 3 over 4 sin x minus 1 over 4 sin 3x. And that is going to be 2d8. Okay, now I can start with my integration. Okay, so if I'm going to start now... Okay, I'm going to say it's three quarters. Now, instead, um, it, it's sin, so what is sin going to become? It's going to become negative cos x minus one quarter, and what is it? One over three, and negative, it's also a negative, so negative cos three x. And my boundaries is there, one third by and zero. And then it's going to start substituting. Okay, so this is going to be now, okay, let's just negative 3 over 4, okay, and it's cos 5 over 3, um, plus 1 over 12. Sometimes I, I saw when I was practicing, I just write 2, so just make sure that you write 12. Although you see it's 12, sometimes you just write 2. So just concentrate. Okay, so it's cos, and then 3, and it's a third by. Okay, minus, uh, then it's negative. Look at just this example. So cos, 0, plus 1 over 12, I'm focusing here. Um, cos and it's 3, 0. Okay. Okay. So basically, I'm going to now just simplify. Now, as soon as I said, if you see pi over 4, pi over 3, pi over 6, you go to your special triangle. So let's just quickly go for, uh, if I see pi, uh, the other one I can focus on the graph. I always like to just take it from the basics. So this is going to be 2, 1, and this is going to be, this is the 60, but that's pi over 3. And this is the 30, and that's pi over 6. Okay, so if I, I start now, I'm going to say, okay, it's negative 3 quarters. And now what is cos pi over 3? So it's a half. Do you see? Adjacent over hypotenuse. That is just going to be a half. 1 over 12. Now be careful here. This is um, 3 over 3, so it's just pi. So what is cos pi? Um, and I'm not going to draw the graph again. We can just check here. Cos pi. What is cos pi? Do you, do you see here? Um, I just want to see. No, I, I'm at the sin. Cos. 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 Pi. And that's negative 1. So let's just put it in. Negative 1. Plus, okay, um, this is the plus, 3 quarters. Now, what is cos 0? Now, you, you already know that. I don't even have to show you. That is fine, I'll show you. Here is cos 0. So, cos is 0 at 1. Even press it on the calculator to show you. Okay. Oh, be careful. It's not the plus. 
So that was a plus, but that's negative 1 over 12. And don't forget that too. And then again, cos 0. And what it is set is cos 0, that is 1. And now I'm basically ending up with negative 3 over 8. Ah, look there. I don't know why I forget that. Um, negative 1 over 12 plus 3 quarters minus 1 over 12. My final answer is 5 over 24. And I think if I'm looking at the question, that's what they said. Show that it's 5 over 24. It's, it's really, I will say, a level 2, 3 question. So make sure that you practice it more than one time. And also maybe practice still a few of this kind of in the exercise, the revision exercise. Okay.